I'm gonna flip this over now. She's pretty sturdy as she is. But I'm gonna flip this over and put a couple screws in from the bottom. Flip it back around. Get any idea here. I think I'm going to measure cross here. I'll just randomly, I'll choose this side as my back. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut a two by four cross here. Now I'll put another one across here. I need 23 and three quarters. 23 and three quarters to extend from here to here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, instead of putting that up here like this, like this, I'm gonna drop it down so that it's overlapping this dolly down to here. Then I can attach a couple screws in there and this whole thing much more solid, even though it's solid, pretty solid now. Okay, got my piece cut. I'm gonna place it on here like this. Line it up with the edges. And what I wanna do is line that up here. I'm accomplishing two goals here. I wanna attach this better to the base. And I also wanna add in a little bit more weight to my bottom, okay? So I'm using a full two by four here. I want the center of gravity to be lower down on this dolly, obviously. Now we're going to put a couple screws in here, drill a couple pilot holes. My right, shelf goes in there, and the boxes will go in like that. Okay, next step. I'm gonna go get some half inch pallet boards that I've already taken apart. And we're gonna cut those to the, let's see what I need to cut those at. Mm, 20 and seven eighths shy, 20 and seven eighths shy. I'm gonna need four for each shell, so I got three shells. All right, before I cut those shelf board, I forgot I gotta do my top back here. So I squeeze this together so that my distance from here to here, 23 and three quarters, is exactly 23 and three quarters up here. So I just go ahead and measure this. 26 and a half inches. So I gotta cut a two by four, 26 and a half. And that's gonna be my back skirt for my top, my work surface. Okay, I flipped my cart upside down, drilled my pilot holes. Go ahead and put a little glue on there.
Now I'm ready to cut my shelf boards out of my pallet lumber. Here we go. Can put my other couple shelves on. But before I go ahead and attach my next shelves in, I'm gonna put my strips in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and mark some centers and square them up front to back. Oh, it looks like I could probably could go an inch on my strips. One inch wide, 11 inches long. I'm gonna cut nine of those just for guides when I slide these in and out. Just gonna center here, put a square on there, make sure I'm square front to back. Okay, we centered the first strip. Here's the center point from here to here, but I'm, I'm gonna move the strip over to that side of it. Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna move it over a quarter of an inch from there. Put a staple in there. Measure this side here and I got four and a quarter. Come over here, four and a quarter. Okay, put my last strip in here. Double check a box, make sure it fits. There we go, quarter inch from that mark. Measure four and a quarter. I'm gonna go ahead and put my other two shells on, the strips. And I'll come back with you after that is done. Okay, got all the shelves done. I have this leaning over a little bit to get a better view. Now what I'm going to do is cut three twenty-three and three quarters to trim off the backs, and also leave have a stop so the the ammo boxes do not um, fall out the back. So I'm going to cut three twenty-three and three quarters to go along the bottom of each shelf.
right, we attached our stops here in the back. I've cut four two by fours, 27 and three eighths inches long. Give a little overhang on the ends. I'll flush them out on the back here. It gives me a little overhang in the front and I'll go ahead and screw those down. Here's the finished uh, portable parts cart. We have all 12 of our boxes in. You could put address labels on here, label them with what's in the each little bin. I've used a black permanent marker down here. A nice solid top, rolls around. There's the back, side. Hope you like this project. Um, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.